Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time we did Ginger to Pickle, I did a little bit of off screen grinding just to get weaponry up because we're kind of behind. So, what I did was I'll show you real quick. We have a sword level too. I did get axe to one and I got mace to one. We're going to need those. Um. I don't have a long sword, so I've, I'm using more of a short sword right now anyway, so stab slash slash sounds good. So, my stuff's in bad shape, and I don't have much money. We need more. So we're going to visit a guy who doesn't really like me. And hopefully we can get some good stuff. Oops. This is the store. My respect for you. Alright, so first thing we are doing is we're going to go ahead and just repair everything. Let's see if we can haggle it down a little bit. That's a lot of money. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. Alright, so. So you don't like me because of what happened previously. So 115. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Uh so 120. I'll go for that. She can make her reputation up. Yeah. Now let's talk trade. All you want is my weapons. Well, We've been using the CX for a while. We're going to switch to the, the Coxcomb. So let's get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to keep my weapons a little bit different because every battle could be different. Now, what I'm hoping for, he has what I want. Jeez. We don't have a lot of good stuff. I'll trade the seven, thankfully, but we need more. I do want to see if I can find a mace. Now keep this in mind, actually, daggers are really cool too to get, because if you do end up sneaking on somebody, you can just insta-kill them. Um, so we'll grab a dagger, and we'll see if we can... 140 is a lot of money. Now 286 is even worse. 356 is even worse. It's the basic mace, the... Yep. So, I know this is probably going to bankrupt me. Can I afford that? I would pay 114. Let's see if we can haggle it down so we can save a couple of ducats because. Let's talk is... about the price. Aye. Hey, help me out and just do 100. Since it's you. Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. You gonna do 110? Okay, we'll do 110, that's fine. Oh, that's a decent price. That's five more dollars I can save. Now I have pretty good stuff. Now I feel like we can start making our journey to, to uh, our next town a little bit. Now that we have a decent ar army armor selection, different weapon selection, we can kill people also to steal their stuff to need be. I'm actually not. Pardon me, guys. I can heal up a little bit. So let's heal up and I'll meet you guys. Henry, I'm so glad to see you. You know, I changed my mind. So, uh, let's talk to Teresa been? for a little bit. I can't stop thinking about Scarlets. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. But probably not in the rain. We could both catch a fever. Pick me up when <gasps> it turns nice again and we'll go for a stroll. As her ladyship commands? <laughs> you jester. Well, that's not very fair. Alright, it's time to 
did go on a journey. We had a decent amount of food. By decent, I mean not really, but you know, we'll manage. We're gonna go during the afternoon, evening time. It's not that far away. Peebles, how you doing, laddie? All right. So where we are going is basically north and east. So we'll have the, that there to help us. And that's the worst bridge I've ever seen. We'll take it. Actually, it's not a bridge, is it? Oh, okay. Okay, this is awkward. At least it's not knocking me off. Yeah. Of course. Holy cow. Okay. We're on to something. We're on to something. Okay. This is across the bridge that adds to this little town. Alright, so we'll probably get a random encounter yeah. of some kind. I am now sad. ourselves a nice little farm out here in the middle of nowhere. That's not bad. Another like a random priest for no reason. Hopefully he doesn't get as wild as uh, Father Goodwin. That was a heck of a night. And it looks like it's going to be pretty chill. Wayfarer is pretty useless. I didn't actually expect him to come here so soon. Fair enough. Okay. Well, welcome to Let Checko. Alright, let's go talk to somebody to get an idea of who do I need to talk to. Good afternoon. Hello. Riki. I'm looking for someone they call Riki. That's the tenor's son, Hine. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's not around here much. Thank God for small blessings. He could try his folks' place. Huh. Goodbye. Talk to his father. Oh, well, ha. You're a tanner? Good health. Ricky. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Oh. Uh... Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's not all. He's always up to his ears, isn't it? But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. He ain't make some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. 
He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? Oh. No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. That's easy enough. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please. All right, so let's go talk to the innkeeper. I guess that makes a lot of sense. I didn't have the bow on his back. That's random. Looks like I'm at 100% health. That's kind of weird. I must have made a bad fall somewhere on the trip here. Innkeeper, you like me, don't you? Good day to you. What do you need? Ricky Tiki Tempo. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. But ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Ricky. He only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnis. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Hmm. About the goods, Ricky owes you. What about it? Well, supposing I settle the account for him and you stop dodging my questions and tell me what I want to know. I suppose that would be all right. How much is it? Before he vanished, I paid him in advance for five hairs. All right, done. When I bring them to you, you'll tell me what I want to know. Deal. Really? Bring hair me. The problem is, if you remember, we don't have a Boeing. Right? Also, hey, oh, uh, actually, I still have this bow. So we're going high, I guess. So I will meet you in a second. I did a dome. So. Good news, I got the rabbit meat. I actually killed a rabbit with the axe because I wanted to. Bad news is, ha! Ah. Oh god, there's three of them? New play. You're gonna love it. No, I'm not calling that combat because I can't fight three of them at once. I guess. Yep. Is that the best you can do? Freak, I just fell. You'll get what for? No, I won't. If they were smart, they would stop chasing me. That was strangely effective, but then again... <laughs> I'm not surprised that killed him. I'm 
in shock right now a little bit. I didn't. I'm still not gonna use the bow because the bow's broken. Sorry, sheep. All the good ones you cannot jump while overloaded. Oh, must be closing time. That kind of sucks. Well, let's go talk to the innkeeper because we do have 60 pounds of hay or meat and then some. Oh, that's gonna easily drop. Oh, that's gonna take care of my weight. I knew there was an issue with me being overloaded. Oh, innkeeper. I've got that game for you. Splendid. Some of the customers have been asking after it. And it drives my friends crazy. That what? That's pretty good. So, what do you want to know about Inek? Where is his hideout? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you, How know, do you that? know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. Okay. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headlands close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Alright, I'm not really here at the game. Now what I want to do is, back in our inventory, we do have, I'm going to use something I don't ever use, which is this thing. If you eat it, it's actually going to heal you a little bit. Um, we'll equip that. What we have now is better. I don't keep it. Alright, so we have plenty of options to choose from. There are options. Look at her map here. 